Hi there! Now, for this video, we will start our journey of understanding the concept of electromagnetism for GCE O-level science physics in Singapore. Okay? Now, um, one of the greatest discovery, uh, discovery of humankind is by Hans Christian Ørsted in the year 1819. Ørsted discovered that, hey, um, when there's an electrical current flowing through a conductor, a magnetic field actually is generated around that conductor. Okay, in other words, when there's an electrical current, there's always a magnetic field being generated. Okay, so for this particular video, we will focus on two key objectives, which is to understand how this magnetic field looks like around a straight conductor carrying a, an electrical current, and as well as how the magnetic field would look like around a solenoid. Okay, now let's move on to the next slide. Now, magnetic effect of a current. Okay. Right, um, we already mentioned, I already mentioned this uh, earlier on, when there's an electrical current, there's a magnetic field generated around it. But uh, having said so, how does this uh, magnetic field look like? Now let's have a look at uh, the next slide, right? Okay, before we discuss this slide further, I'd like um, you to uh, recall what we have learned in the earlier chapter on magnetism. Now, especially the part about how we determine the pattern of the, the of the magnetic fields around a permanent magnet, for example. Okay, there are two ways, isn't it? The first is by using iron filings, and the second method is to make use of plotting compasses, uh, which will then, uh, by taking note of the direction of the needle in the plotting compass, that will tell us the direction of the magnetic field lines around a permanent magnet. Okay, so. Now, coming back to this slide, we are using that second method, which is by placing plotting compasses around an electrical wire when the current is flowing through it. Okay, so for this particular example, take note, um, this is a, a normal electrical wire with current flowing from the bottom towards the top along this direction. Okay, and uh, by placing the plotting compasses around it at different positions and taking note of the direction of the needle, okay, that will eventually um, reveal to us that hey, the magnetic field lines around a straight conductor when the current is flowing through it is actually uh, made up of concentric circles. Okay, it has this pattern that looks at like concentric circles. Now, uh, let me just, uh, I'm not sure how many of you really get this, so let me just uh, move the slide which I just prepared. Uh, here it is. Okay, let me just activate it. Now, imagine that this red line is um, is an electrical wire with a current flowing through it okay so when the current flows through this electrical wire a magnetic field is generated around it so what do you mean by around it how does the pattern look like okay so this is how it looks like okay uh, this is the magnetic field uh, line across the the uh, around this wire and the second one third and fourth it appears something like this like layers around a, 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 an onion if you like okay and uh, yeah it's not just in this particular position but there are many few lines as well in these other locations so if you imagine it it will look like a cylinder that stretches along the whole length of the conductor that carries the electrical current okay now let's go back to the previous slide okay so there you go for a vertical wire, let me just summarize this. For a vertical wire that is carrying an electrical current, the pattern of the magnetic field that is created around the vertical wire are of concentric circles. Okay. Now, for all level purposes, you are sometimes required to actually draw the the pattern of this um, this magnetic field pattern around a vertical wire. Okay. So take note of that. Now, the second question is therefore this: once I've de uh, determined the the shape the pattern of the, the magnetic field what would be the direction of the magnetic field lines okay for a permanent magnet if you may remember um, the direction of the magnetic field lines uh, starts uh, moves in a direction from the north to the south pole of a permanent magnet right when we are talking about outside of the magnet itself now how about for this particular case so let's move on to the next slide all right to do this, uh, to determine the direction of the magnetic field lines around the vertical wire, okay, we have to use this thing called the right hand grip rule. In the earlier um, uh, video on magnetism, there's also a use of the right hand grip rule. For this particular case, the rule is used a little bit differently from the first one, where 
it was used to determine the north pole of a solenoid okay when electrical current flows through a solenoid right so how do we apply that now let's look at this um this is actually very simple if the gray wire represents a conductor and this conductor is carrying a current from uh, bottom towards the top in such a direction upwards direction all we need, would need to do is imagine curling your hand take note your right hand around the conductor okay the key thing that you will need to take note of is the direction of your thumb your thumb okay if you look at your thumb over here it has to be pointing in the same direction as the electrical current flow and if you wrap your four fingers around the conductor the direction of which your fingers are wrapped around okay in this manner will tell you actually the direction of the magnetic field lines around this straight conductor okay got it now for the exam purposes of course you won't get a diagram that is a uh, this in this manner sometimes they'll give you a diagram whereby the conductor is horizontal and the current could be flowing from uh, left to the right okay so you will have to actually adjust this uh, the application of your right hand grip rule accordingly all right now the other way uh, to make it even more challenging they can actually give you the direction of magnetic field lines and ask you to determine the direction of electrical current so well um, you have to figure how to do this okay in the worksheets which i have given you guys um, there are some examples of that right let us move on okay now in a in a typical worksheet right um uh, we will need to therefore use um, some symbols to represent current okay if you do look at a worksheet it's just a flat piece of paper and um, how do we then indicate current that is flowing perpendicular to the paper itself the plane of the paper okay so we use two symbols if you if on the paper to see a, a circle and a cross this suggests that electrical current is flowing into the paper okay whereas for a circle and a dot this suggests current flowing out of the paper okay so perpendicularly out of the plane of the paper so by using our right hand grip rule we will be able to determine the direction of the magnetic field lines okay right so um you have to uh, then uh, look at this area here whereby um if i were to use current of differing size for example current of one ampere compared to a current of 10 ampere how would that affect the, uh, the magnetic field around the straight conductor well very simple um when if you were to increase the size of current through the wire the, ma the magnetic field the strength of the magnetic field actually increases so how is this increase uh, reflected in the in the drawing we just have to draw more magnetic field lines okay reversing the current will of course cause the direction of magnetic field lines to reverse okay right um so that will complete our uh, understanding of how a magnetic field look like around a vertical or a horizontal in other words a straight conductor okay now let's now look at how the magnetic field lines look like around a solenoid to help us do that uh, let us have a look at this particular first picture now this first picture this rectangle piece is an angled board represents an angled cardboard and uh, through this cardboard you find that there's a wire that's being um, coiled around it from the bottom of the cardboard to the top this represents the top of the cardboard and below it this arrow shows the direction of electrical current flowing through this particular um, single flat coil and when we do this okay the, what this diagram is trying to show is the magnetic field lines or the field patterns around this single flat coil okay now how about then a solenoid basically a solenoid if you to play if you to uh, turn more wires around the cardboard this will represent a solenoid and if the current is flowing upwards this is how the magnetic field lines will look like okay now if you recall um, the magnetic field lines or the patterns of a permanent magnet you find that it's actually very strikingly similar to that of this solenoid okay i would like you to turn to slide 62 okay sorry 63 for this particular case now look at that right if i have uh, many turns and uh, of the wire around the cardboard this basically is your solenoid okay the bottom part is of course hidden below the cardboard and if the current is flowing 
in such a manner, you'll find that the magnetic field lines that is created will look similar to a bar magnet. Okay, if you remember, let me just sketch that out. A bar magnet would be something to this effect. Okay, that would be how a bar magnet look like. Right, so yeah. Now, um, if you remember, we actually use a right hand grip rule in a different way from what was earlier on to determine uh, where the north pole is. So if the direction of the flow, current flow in the solenoid is in this direction, by applying our right hand grip rule, you'll find that, hey, your thumb will be pointing towards this particular position and therefore this will be the north pole and the direction of the magnetic field lines will be from the north to the south okay now in this slide uh, we would like to find out how the strength of a magnetic field um, is affected by certain factors all right essentially there are three factors that will cause some changes to the strength of the magnetic field inside a solenoid okay the first one will be the size of the electrical current flowing in the solenoid. The second will be the number of turns in the solenoid. And the third, whether there are some um, other objects being placed inside the core of the solenoid itself. Okay, right. Uh, for this particular slide, as you can see, we can actually increase, increase the strength of the magnetic field by increasing the number of the, sorry, increasing the magnitude of current in the solenoid. The second point, increasing the number of turns of the solenoid. And lastly, by inserting a soft iron core into the solenoid. Recall that a soft iron core is actually um, a, a magnetic material that can be easily magnetized and uh, demagnetized. So uh, by having the soft iron core inside the solenoid, this will actually help to strengthen or increase the strength of the magnetic field. Okay. Right, um, so that basically um, brings us to the end of this uh, first video. We'll, in the next video, we will start uh, discussing the uses of electromagnets. Right, thank you.